Broadway actress Jessica Falkholtz live support has been turned off a day after the funerals of her sister and parents following the Boxing Day smash which wiped out her entire family. The devastating decision was made by the family following the emotional funerals of sister Annabelle, 21, and parents Lars, 69, and Vivian, 60. Shattered family have kept a 24-hour bedside vigil at St. George Hospital where Jessica remained in a medically induced coma since the crash. She was surrounded by loved ones when the life machine was turned off on Thursday. Jessica was just 28 when she was involved in the smash image. Jackson underscore Haywood, Instagram. The shocking accident took the lives of Ms. Four Colts' parents Lars, 69, Far Left, and Vivian, 60, Left, and sister Annabelle, 21. Jessica's life support has just been turned off. Image, Facebook. The actress was much loved by her peers and colleagues. Image, Facebook. The close-knit Four Colt family were thought to be driving home to Sydney at the Prince's Highway after a short festive break when their car was involved in the devastating dating head-on collision. Jessica appeared as Hope Morrison in the Aussie soap home and away in 2016. Family and friends gathered to bid farewell to Lars, Vivian and Annabelle Forkholt, Image, Rex, Shutterstock, the up-and-coming actress also starred in the upcoming supernatural thriller Harmony, set to be released in 2018. Her family was laid to rest at an emotional funeral yesterday. Hundreds of people gathered at St. Mary's Catholic Church for the funeral for Dad Lars, his wife of more than 30 years Vivian and their 21-year-old daughter Annabelle. White flowers adorned Vivian's and Lars' brown coffins, while pink flowers topped Annabelle's white one. The parents had brown coffins while their daughter was in the white casket. Image, Rex, Shutterstock. Hundreds gathered for the emotional funeral. Image, Rex, Shutterstock. Vivian's younger brother Paul Ponticello has thanked the members of the public who ran to help pull the sisters out from the car. It's a day that will be difficult to erase from our memory, he told the service, adding the tragic irony was that Lars was renowned for being a careful driver. Whenever asking how long it would take to drive somewhere I would suggest an average for a normal driver and then add some additional time for the Lars factor. We always had a good laugh, he said. Both cars were engulfed by flames. Image, 9. Craig Whittall was named as the other driver. He was returning from a methadone clinic. Image, 7 plus. Former drug addict Craig Anthony Whithall, 50, was named as the driver of the second vehicle after he died. He was driving home from a methadone clinic and is believed to have swerved into the opposite side of the road. It was reported by The Telegraph that Whithall had previously been jailed for driving while disqualified and using provisional plates in 2011. The publication added the coronial investigation into the fatal crash will center on whether Whittle was on methadone or other drugs at the time of the accident as well as if he was using a mobile phone. Jessica in home and away back in 2016, image, 7, Jessica and her boyfriend, image, Facebook, Jordan Broyer, hero motorist that pulled home and away actress Jessica Falkholt and her sister free from burning. Wreckage describes haunting scenes he won't forget. Mr. Ponticello also spoke about the love between Swedish-born Lars and Italian-born Vivian, saying they were inseparable and the tragic end makes absolutely no sense. I always thought we would grow old together, he said. They are together and always will be. You will always be remembered and in our hearts forever. Rest in peace. Their parents were killed in the smash, image, 9, both cars were engulfed by flames, image, 9, four people died in the horror crash, today last survivor Jessica's life support was turned off, image, 9, witnesses to the terrible collision say they saw Whithall's white Toyota Prado cross the central line of the motorway twice before it smashed into the Mazda carrying 28-year-old Jessica and her family. Jessica was airlifted to Liverpool Hospital while Annabelle was taken to St. George Hospital, with family members holding vigils at their bedsides. Annabelle died three days after the smash. Police said the crash was caused by one car being on the wrong side of the road, according to the ABC. Hero motorist that pulled home and away actress Jessica Falkholt and her sister free from burning wreckage describes haunting scenes he won't forget, image, 9, one of. The hero motorists that risked his life to pull home in a way actress Jessica Falkholt and her sister Annabelle free from the wreckage previously spoke out. Just moments after he intervened in the triple fatal horror crash, the vehicles were engulfed in flames. The fire incinerated both cars involved in the crash, leaving burnt-out shells. One of the passers-by involved in the incredibly brave rescue, Darren Collier, admitted that he won't forget the girl's horrific injuries in a long time. I just wanted to say thanks for all the comments on FB Today and Messenger. 
I'm fine a little shaken up but all is good, he wrote on Facebook. Hero Motorists pulled the two young women out of the wreck moments before both cars were engulfed in flames, image, news video, Darren Collier spoke out about the fatal car crash image, Facebook. I was one of the first on the scene to this car accident, and to say it was horrific is a massive understatement. Three deceased and two critical. The injuries on the two girls will be something I won't forget in a long time. I was thankful that I was able to help out in some way, with other motorists by getting the two girls out of the car before the car blew up in flames. After learning of the horrific accident, Pia, who played Katerina Chapman on Home and Away, wrote on Instagram, thinking of you. Well wisher Pia Mia prayed for her former co-star, image, Pia Miller, Instagram, Pia Miller in Home and Away, she said she was, thinking of Jessica after the crash, image, Pia Miller, Instagram, while Jackson who plays Brody Morgan, wrote, Can we please send all our support, love and prayers to Jess and her sister Annabelle, fighting for their lives after their crash on Boxing Day. Much love darling. I'm with ya. May you both make a full recovery. I cannot stress enough to please drive safe these holidays guys. Love ya. After the smash superintendent David Johnson, of Queensland's Road Policing Command, told News.au police would be targeting drivers who commit offences of speeding, drink and drug driving, distraction, fatigue and seat belts. Such Johnson said that too many lives have been lost on our roads by the actions of irresponsible drivers who fail to think about themselves or others. One in four road fatalities involved a driver under the influence of drugs or alcohol. The tragedy is all of these could have been avoided. It's alarming and concerning for us.